Hi there. For this video, we'll be giving an introduction about the equation of a line. So for our question of the day, have you ever wondered how we can obtain an equation given a graph? More specifically, how to find the equation that would represent this line out here. In this case, you can verify by a graphing calculator that this line out here is represented by this equation out here. So this has some nice applications since dealing with equations are sometimes easier than dealing with graphs. So this is what we'll be discovering in this video as well as in the following videos as we dive more in-depth with this topic. With that out of the way, let us define what the standard form of linear equation is. So its standard form is given by ax plus by equals c, wherein x and y are, let's put it out here, are variables. And A, B, and C are constants. So if you don't know how variables and constants are defined, I can put out a link around in this video wherein I discussed out there the definition of variables and constants. <clears throat> More specifically, note that these variables x and y are of the of are of degree one. So that is something important in the equation of the line since if it is not degree one <clears throat> then there is a chance that, well, actually, it's not a chance. The outcome of the graph would not be a line. Like if x is degree 2, then the graph would be a parabola. But that's something that would be discussed in the future. Our focus now are lines. <coughs> also, something to take note about is that a, b, and c are integers. But take note that a must be positive. Yep. What, what if a is negative? Well, the outcome of the equation would still be a line. But we're dealing here with a standard form. So we want A to be positive always. And in fact, if it is negative, say if we have negative 2x plus 3y there equals negative 6. So this is a this fits the form of a linear equation, but it is not standard since the coefficient of x out here is negative. So what we do out here is we can simply multiply a negative 1 on both sides. By doing that, we'll obtain 2x minus 3y equals 6. So this one out here is already in standard form. So 
this is again the standard form of a linear equation and from here we can actually derive different forms of linear equation that is something that we'll be discussing in depth in the future videos <clears throat> so going back to our problem again our goal is to convert this graph out here into some equation now how can we do that now let's deal with this first case suppose we are given this line out here and suppose that we know the slope we know the slope m moreover Suppose as well that we know it's y-intercept. We know the value to be given by hmm, 0 and b. So if you don't know slopes and intercepts, I'll probably link that one around in this video. As learning those things is important in understanding more about this so by this time what we'll be doing is we'll try we'll be trying to incorporate everything that we learned so far into creating equations of a line so again suppose that we know the slope and the y-intercept then actually we'll be able to get the equation of this line it's actually given by y equals mx plus b again y and x are variables and m is the value of the slope while b is given by the y intercept this out here is called let's this one down this out here is called the slope intercept Form. Now, what if, say, we don't know the y intercept? What if we don't know the y intercept, but say we know a point out here? Say that point is given by x sub 1 and y sub 1. <clears throat> then we can also obtain <clears throat> we can also obtain an equation of the line given this two nodes it is given by mm, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1 this out here is called the point slope form. Let's move this one and there. So that one out here is called the point slope form. Mm. Now, what if we change it a little bit again? What if the slope this time is unknown? But we know another point, say this one, we know it to be x sub 2 and y sub 2. Given this two nodes or two points to be exact, we can actually derive another way to convert this graph into an equation. It is given by y minus y sub 2 equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 times x sub 2. Oops, that's not x sub 2. This is x minus x sub 1. This out here is called the 2 point 
form. And lastly, what if we don't know any of these points and any of these slopes, but we know the y and the x-intercept. x-intercept and y-intercept. And suppose that this x-intercept is given by a0. This y-intercept is given by 0, comma b. Then using just these two intercepts, we can actually obtain the equation of this line that is given by x over a plus y over b equals 1. So take note here that the partnering for this one is for the x variable, its partner is the x-intercept. And for the y variable, its partner is the y-intercept. This out here is called the intercept form. Oops. There, let's just adjust it. So these are the four main forms of the equation of a line obtained from the standard form. Observe that all of these forms has x and y variables of degree 1. Here, 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 here. So we know that the outcome will be a line. The um, the equations only varied by the from the constants that it ha have that it has. So we'll dive more into these forms in the next video. We'll try to go over go over each one of these and um one by one. To try and learn how it works and how we could obtain an equation from a graph or a line. So that's it. There are no exercises for this since this is just an introductory video on the equation of lines. So I hope you enjoyed this one and feel free to comment down below any comments suggestions, recommendations that you have for this video as well as the future videos that we'll have in this channel. So that's it and that's all for this video.